Well, welcome back to Virginia this morning, live right here on CBS 6. Hurricane season kicked off June 1st and continues through November 30th. It's predicted this year to be an active season. The caveat is that COVID-19 and how this might impact your preparedness. Andreas recently spoke with a representative from AAA Mid-Atlantic on this very interesting topic and preparing for the season. June marks the start of summer, but also the start of hurricane season. Today, we're joined by Morgan Dean, Senior Specialist in Public and Government Affairs at Mid-Atlantic AAA to help us prepare for the season. Hi, Morgan. Hey, good morning to you. Good morning. So this is critically important. And I will be honest, with everything else going on, this had kind of fallen to the back burner of my mind. And I'm so glad we're having this conversation. So this year's hurricane season will be like none other as we consider the effects of COVID-19 on the actual hurricane season. I've heard some stats and also seen some updates from the CDC, but what, what would you say we need to prepare for, especially in Virginia this year? Well, here's what people need to be thinking about. You don't want to prepare for a hurricane or a name storm to come ashore, have everything ready to go, evacuate, and then find yourself right at risk for getting COVID-19. So as you're prepping for storm season with all your supplies this year, you have to be thinking about the pandemic at the same time because we're dealing with both of them. Folks have been very, very focused on making sure they're ready for the pandemic. So now we got to combine all this together to get through the summer together. That is so true and so important, um, especially as we think about, you know, the changing numbers for COVID-19. We're not in the clear yet. And yet there may be scenarios that push us to have to gather in different ways or to seek shelter in different ways. So what do you think we should be doing if at some point we do find ourselves in a shelter situation? Uh, and that's a good question. We don't really know what shelters, if they're needed this summer, are going to quite look like, but people need to be prepared to protect themselves. So you need to have spare masks on hand. You need to have the hand sanitizer on hand. You need to have sanitizing wipes if you can find them, a little tough to find right now. Uh, and you want to have some soap with you just to make sure you are prepared if you're fleeing one natural disaster and find yourself uh, facing the threat of COVID, perhaps in a shelter somewhere. And you got to be conscious of the social distancing to do whatever you can do to protect yourself and your family. Absolutely. So what I hear you saying is that our storm kit actually has a whole nother category of items that may have been in there, may not have been, and also may have been something that we had to jump in and use during a time where we couldn't find certain items. So starting off first, what should our typical hurricane storm kit include? So the traditional items that most people here in Central Virginia, because they remember Isabel and Irene and some of the other storms that have, have come ashore and caused problems. We've seen power outages, we've seen flooding, we've seen heavy rains from it. You need to have batteries, you need to have that flashlight, you need to have the charger for your cell phone, you need to keep your phone charged and have a backup, powder, power, uh, backup uh, battery bank for that phone as well to make sure that you can still get power to it if you need it. You need to have water for three days per person, enough for each of that. Have some food that you can take with you, non-perishable food. Um, uh, and the big concern with that is that's where we think a lot of people may have dipped into their hurricane supply kits during quarantine. People weren't going out to the stores as much. Uh, they may have dipped into their bottled water. They may have dipped in their batteries. They may have dipped into their first aid kit. You need to replenish those things as well as adding all the new COVID items to that hurricane supply kit and have it in something that you can grab and go in case you need to leave your home. So the masks, the sanitizer, uh, the sanitizing wipes, uh, and anything else that you think you might need as you're preparing to leave. And one of the things you mentioned is that, you know, there were some items that we may have had to use because we couldn't find them. And there's yeah. some items that we still necessarily can't find right now. So what do you suggest that we do if our kit is lacking and we can't really find those things? Uh, well, if we've learned anything from quarantine, the idea of if you see it, buy it right at that moment because it may not be there. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out who's bought up all the toilet paper and made it on sh short supply for so many months on end here. Um, if you see something right now, you want to go ahead and buy it. For folks that are concerned still about going out and buying things, there are some opportunities to purchase online and do some of that kit replenishment as well. Um, 
but it's also a good time to remind people that just because you see it out there, buy what you need as an adequate supply. Don't buy everything you see on the aisle because you want to leave enough out there that everybody can be protected during all of this. Yeah. And then you've got to think about your home in the midst of this and, you know, protecting your investments, your assets, knowing what you have and also things like your car. So how do we prepare for that in advance? So a couple of different things. I know people have been great about working on their yards because they've been at home for so many weeks on end. Everybody seems to have mulched. They've trimmed back the shrubs. Now we're asking people to take a look up look and see where those limbs are that might be a threat to the house if we see those high winds. If you can take care of them yourself, do that carefully. Uh, if you need to call a professional, now is the time to go ahead and do that. Inside your home, we feel like we've spent so much time in our homes in the past couple of months. We're probably walking past a lot of things that we don't even realize that are there. In the case of an emergency, if something happens in our home and we lose some of that property, we wanna have photos and video of it. So take one afternoon with your cell phone, Go walking around, take video, shoot pictures of all the important items in your house that you want to be able to say to your, to your insurance company, hey, here's something that we lost in the storm, just so you have that as a backup. And then finally, your vehicle. You want to make sure you keep gas in your vehicle during hurricane season, just in case. If your car's been sitting for a long time, uh, it's a good chance to get it checked out. Make sure that everything's still running, making sure that the fluids are still running through everywhere that they're supposed to be. Hopefully you did some of the preparations to make sure that the fuel uh, is still good in the vehicle if you haven't been driving it much during quarantine. But now is the time to get it checked out. And as we learned during quarantine, uh, don't delay on doing things. Uh, a study just a couple of years ago by AAA found that one out of every five people out there waits until 24 hours before a storm to prepare for the storm. This is not the year to do that because we know that things can disappear from the shelves quickly. So now's the time to take a little time and do all of that. Well, you have given us so much to think about, some things that I'm going to run off and do right away because, again, we've just been focused on so many different things, so many different levels of survival at this point. And this is going to potentially surprise some people if they're not ready for this. So thank you so much for sharing that information. We're going to certainly be sharing that with everyone that we can to help prepare. Thanks for having me on today. Thank you. And for those of you who are interested in more information from AAA Mid-Atlantic and about hurricane season and how to prepare for hurricane season and COVID season all at the same time, we'll be posting some information on our website at wtbr.com slash DTM.